measures. Michigan Congresswoman Candace Miller is on the phone with us right now to talk about this. Yeah, she's sharing her thoughts on the terror investigation. Good evening, Congresswoman. Good of you to join us. I think many people still shaking their heads when they hear that the suspect was already on a watch list. How this could have happened in the first place. I know the president today said he wants those procedures and policies reviewed, but can that even happen soon enough? Uh, well, you know, the Congress is going to be having some hearings on this, and I certainly am appreciative that finally, after four days in an act of war against the United States, that the president has come out and made some comments, and we do need to continually improve our screening procedures and how we are compiling lists and who's on the list and why. But in this case, it certainly looks like our procedures failed on several fronts. Um, and, you know, European countries do send us advanced passenger uh, data before the airplanes depart Europe. So. A big question, how do we miss how did we miss it? Now, Congressman, we, we keep hearing about all these new delays and new screenings and so forth. Now I flew out of Tampa yesterday coming to Detroit. We fully expected massively long lines. It was probably the quickest I've ever moved through security. It was like nothing had changed. Well, uh you had a good experience, that's for sure. But you know, I think people do understand that we do need to continue to improve our security procedures. Uh, both for passengers and for luggage as well, baggage, and not only on the airlines, but in our ports. There are a number of things that we need to do to improve our, our procedures and our methods. But I will tell you, in the immediacy, this particular uh, act of war was not a criminal act. This was a terrorist act. This criminal, this, excuse me, this terrorist is an enemy combatant. This was an organized and planned act of war, uh, originated on foreign soil, and it was designed to kill innocent non-combatants. And I do believe that this terrorist should have been given over immediately to the to the uh, military for the very harshest, the most aggressive interrogation that this administration uh, will condone. He should not be under uh, with the, uh, the FBI. God love them. They're doing a great job. But this is an act of war. It is not a criminal act. Can that be changed then? What has to happen for that for him to be moved over to the military? Is that even possible? I do believe that the president has the authority to uh, imprison him as an enemy combatant if he if he wants to. If if the president is hesitant to do that or he feels that he uh, cannot, uh, certainly the Congress needs to give this president and future presidents the authority to do so. But in light of what is happening today, when you have uh, the Al Qaeda uh, claiming uh, that they are responsible for this as well, we need to recognize that they see this as an asymmetrical battlefield. Uh, for instance, if our military apprehends a terrorist in Afghanistan, they don't send them to the United States uh, where they're going to be arraigned in civil criminal court, give them all the rights and protections under our legal system, and including a court-appointed uh, taxpayer-funded attorney, which is what's happening in this case. It is mind-boggling to me. Now, Congresswoman, uh, I hear a lot of people calling for change, calling for this, calling for that. Uh, when are we going to actually see something legislatively done, uh, you know, and I, I would add to that, in a hurry? Well, there are a number of things that can happen, as I say, in the immediacy that don't require legislation. The Congress, of course, needs to exercise its oversight and make sure that we continue to improve, and the largest room is always a room for improvement. Uh, but there are a number of things that the TSA and the Department of Homeland Security can do immediately, and as I say, I'm appreciative that the President finally has made some comments, particularly after the Secretary of Homeland Security yesterday said that the system worked in this case, where clearly it did not work. You can't find any uh, security expert that would agree with that assessment. I'm, I'm glad you backtracked this morning uh, on those comments. But there are a number of things that need to continue to be done. And all of the technology that we have with full body scanners, et cetera, we need to have a very thorough debate about uh, employing all of those technologies. And, and the last thing I would say is you can have the best technology in the world, but there is no second for human intel. And that actually did occur in this case because you had this terrorist father who really red flagged his own son by going to the U.S. Embassy in Nigeria and, and talking and making sure that his son, uh, who has subsequently now been put on one of our watch lists since November, and yet we missed it. So um, the system failed in this case, and we need to ensure that it never happens again. Congresswoman